Well, hello there, my friends. Chris Marcus here with you for Arcadia Economics. And today's video is a bit of silver stock mining news because as you see here, Sierra Madre Gold and Silver has agreed to acquire the La Guterra Silver Gold Mine in Mexico from First Majestic. They are acquiring 100% interest in the La Guterra Silver Gold project. A couple of quick highlights. La Guterra is a high-grade past producing underground mine with an on-site process facility, measured and indicated resources of 7.45 million ounces of silver equivalent, and historical inferred mineral resources of 10 million ounces of silver equivalent, functional and expendable 500 tons per day crushing, grinding, and flotation facility, fully permitted for underground mining, and as you see down here, First Majestic to become strategic and largest shareholder of Sierra Madre, they are going to be getting $35 million worth of shares in Sierra Madre. So La Guterra is in the southeast end of the Mexican silver belt with an underground mine that was operating up until August of 2018. Past production in the order of one to one and a half million silver equivalent ounces between 2015 and 2018. And the current infrastructure includes two underground centers, the 500 tons per day flotation mill and permitted tailing facilities. Sierra Madre will acquire all of the issued and outstanding shares of La Guterra and Sierra Madre will issue to First Majestic 69 million Sierra Madre common shares at a deemed price of 65 cents. So that's an aggregate value of 35 million. Here's a comment from Alex Langer, who we've been fortunate to have on the show several times. Look forward to getting an update from him again soon. This acquisition of the fully permitted La Guterra mine, the underground mine, and the 500 tons per day mill will advance Sierra Madre towards its goal of becoming a mid-tier precious metals company. And here's something I found particularly interesting. Greg Liller, our COO, Louis Sines, our director of exploration and development, and the other members of the team operated the La Guterra mine under prior ownership from 2006 to 2009. Upon completion of the transaction, First Majestic, again, is becoming the largest shareholder. And here's a quote from Greg Liller, Executive Chairman, Chief Operating Officer. Based on my experience with running the Lagaterra Mine and overseeing the district's first large-scale exploration program, I've always believed Lagaterra is one of the largest undeveloped silver opportunities in Mexico. Eastern portion of the district was host to large high-grade mines that were significant producers during the Spanish colonial period. This area has only seen limited modern drilling and exploration, even though it is host to hundreds of old mines, prospects working in veins, and Luis Sainz has assembled an experienced team to further develop La Guterra. First Majestic has done an excellent job in maintaining all the permits and preparing development plans necessary for restarting operations. Company has a three-pronged approach to restarting production, including district-scale exploration and mine development program, completing the 43101 and reprocessing the existing tailings. So that is the news on the deal. You can find out more about that on Sierra Madre Gold and Silver.com or also at First Majestic Silver. And congratulations to both of those companies. And we'll look forward to hearing more about that. And thanks again for joining me here today.